Oh, look at my man, Chad. <laughs> yeah, you like, who is that? Up, that bum over there. How you doing? I'm good, how are you, how man? You doing? I'm just down here doing this story about when I won the family a house. Folktales. Yeah, folktales, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, I like won a couple a house hey. when yeah, I, like yeah. <laughs> Those people still in that house? I don't know, they said they interviewed them. I didn't ask that. I wonder if they are still there. I'm Dave Pash, voice of the Arizona Cardinals, here to tell you about the Lennar Holmes Take It to the House promotion. If the Cardinals score a touchdown on their opening kickoff return, one lucky winner will receive a free house courtesy of Lennar Holmes. You must register at any Lennar new home community for a chance to win. Lennar is the proud home building partner of the Arizona Cardinals. Lennar, we were in discussions with them on a partnership and we had to come up with a really compelling, unique, and exciting promotion that we felt like was gonna be the centerpiece for their relationship with us. And so we thought, wow, let's give away a home. Hey, let's call this thing the Take It to the House promotion. How cool would that be? And if we take the opening kick back for a touchdown, somebody's gonna to win a home. We had walked into the Lennar um, office and she had said, here, why don't you sign up for this promotion? You could win a chance to go to a football game. If you were selected, as the contestant for that week's game, you received two tickets to the game, VIP treatment, pregame field passes, a photo op, and then you were, you were seated in the stadium lower level where you had a full view of the opening kickoff. It's like two weeks later, she called and said, hey Dave, you guys want a chance to win a house, you get to go to the game. And I was like, and we were, I was like cool. <laughs> Historically, if you look, returning the opening kickoff of a game for a touchdown is, is not a frequent occurrence, but when it does happen, it's incredibly exciting. LaRod was a guy who um, was, was very soft-spoken. He was quiet. He was another quiet guy. It would be like pulling fingernails to try to get him to say anything, really. But he fitted in so well. He's just a guy that practiced hard, and you knew you could rely on him from a special team's perspective. I got it. Not very tall, very fast, quick but he gave you everything that he had. My ball, punk. Super confident though, tough. You know, I think he understood his role. Kind of like the Swiss Army knife for our team. He was running back kickoffs. He was doing punts from time to time. He was a guy who certainly played much bigger than he was and one of the best teammates, one of the nicest guys that you could ever meet. Hey, hey, Take it to the house promotion of the Cardinals return the opening kickoff for a score. Dave Johnson gets a new home courtesy of Lennar Holmes. Go to azcardinals.com for more. The night before, there was this really cool meteor shower, and it was like shooting stars everywhere. And I said, I think we're, we're going to win the house tomorrow. So. <laughs> we had the Johnsons down on the field before the game, as we did with all the promotion winners each week. And so there was an announcement in the stadium prior to the game starting that they were here and they were eligible for the Take It to the House promotion. And I, I sort of pointed out, because I knew who was a returner, and I told Darcy, I said, that's the guy that's going to win us a house. I was joking, of course, but... Uh, <laughs> And she's like, oh, okay, that sounds good. That stadium and like that fan, like our fan base in terms of big plays, playing in front of that, that crowd, like is no feeling in any stadium, I don't think. I remember that was my first home game, regular season home game as a Cardinal. And the place was energetic. I mean, there was so much energy in that place. I didn't realize how loud it could get. Just leading up to it, I'm nervous as crap, the whole, the whole, beginning of the game, all the stuff before. Um, can't even feel my fingers until I, I touched the ball for the first time. And In the locker room before the game, it was, it was full blown. We're taking this deal to the house, like, like, like we're winning this house. Well, there wouldn't have been a specific game plan around that. It was very much uh, a part of like the game, like the game plan, like the game plan on both sides of the ball was LeBron's going to take this. You know, and none of us knew that there was a house attached to him scoring a touchdown there. I can't specifically remember Adrian mentioning it, but I'm, I'm sure that if he did, he did. No, had, had no clue about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a big deal. Like, it was a big deal all week. Like, everybody, everybody knew. Like, everybody knew about it. But, again, I mean, what's the chances of, you know, 
of that actually happening. Well, Coach Wiz has been surly all week long, baby. And if you want to get the game started on a good note, return this kick and rip it. There are moments during the game that you want to stop and watch, no matter how busy we are behind the scenes. And the opening kickoff is one of those moments. I was like, I'm on the sideline, about to be part of the opening kickoff for the Cardinals home season, against the Raiders nonetheless. <laughs> we were all up and about, and it was an interesting uh, kickoff return because it actually didn't play out the way it was designed. I remember this was a middle return we have on here. Janikowski booting it away from the 30-yard line and waiting for to Stevens Howling in the goal line. Runs right to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, breaks a tackle, 25, 30. 35, kicker to be 40. Stevens Howling near side, 50, at the 40, at the 30, at the 20. Somebody open the front door. Stevens Howling's coming in. Touchdown, Cardinals on the opening kickoff. I recall seeing him get up to the 30-yard line. He dodged a few players, and I'm thinking, all right, we're going to have good field position to start. When you're a kicker and you're back 30, 40 yards, you can kind of see the hole open up. And But next thing, he shot out like a surfer out of a big wave. And we're like, oh, that's, oh, he's got a hole. Oh, he's going. And at that point, I felt like, wow, we're going to give away a house. When I saw the kicker, I knew I couldn't make the mistake of trying to cut back before because I, I tried that before in my career. And... It didn't work out too well, so I just tried to beat him with speed. You know, for Sebastian Janikowski, like, all of a sudden he's like, oh, no, i got to make a play. And if you knew Sebastian, he didn't want to tackle at all. He made a valiant effort, but uh, Larod just ran right by him. And there's no worse feeling than being on the ground, looking up and seeing a guy, like, running towards the end zone. And I didn't know if he got in or not because it was really that close. And that was, you know, 100 yards away from us. My man Rashad Johnson coming in clutch at the end to help me help me get to the end zone there. It was definitely a complete team effort right there. We just celebrated like you'd never seen on the sideline, knowing that it was the opening kickoff of the season, but that someone was about to win a house. Larod is one of the quietest people in the world. He does like that roar at the end when he scores. Jump Superman where he stick his chest out, and I guess he was saying it with his chest, as some of my teammates like to say. That might have been the first howling touch, touchdown celebration there. I will say it was influenced by uh, another former Pitt Panther, Larry Fitzgerald. And I don't remember planning it at all or ever saying I was going to do that. So I, I made a joke after that, and I was like, Larod, did you even make a sound when you did that? And he's like, he rolls his eyes and looks at me, he's like, come on, Scal. And I'm like, oh, I'm just saying, man, you're too quiet. I can't picture you screaming like that. It felt great to, to yell. I don't even know if my yell made any sound. I don't think I had any control over the moment. It was just, it was just that big. She asked me, did he do what he's supposed to do? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> wait till he kicks the extra point and that's official. I just remember feeling uh, really happy for the Johnsons that they were there to witness it. And it was just a great feeling. I immediately went down and got a big beer <laughs> and the guy, uh, that was serving the beer, he's, I said, it's unreal, I just want a house. And he's like, this one's on the house. And so he gave me a beer and uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty cool. I always wanted to know what they, what they felt like after it happened. Was there an insurance policy? Like, <laughs> were they mad at me? <laughs> it, was, it was like a blur that week. We went down to their practice facility, that's where we got to meet Larod. He gave us a ball. You know, I, I told him I gotta give you a hug and he said, okay. They are so nice and um, I, I, I don't think I stopped smiling the whole time. Just, just knowing that I, I could do that for someone. Um, well, we did that, the Cardinals did that. You know, it's great when anyone scores a touchdown. For someone like Larod, it was very, very special. I think Larod really uh, took hold to his role and he started his role. You know, he maximized his ability um, in terms of statue, in terms of how how big he was, um, I, thought, I thought he made a huge impact on, on games. Part of being that underdog is you kind of, you have this chip on your shoulder like, do I belong, do my teammates respect that I belong here? To see that Adrian Wilson, like in the ring of honor, Adrian Wilson um, grabbed the ball and gave it to me, that, that's definitely a, a very important part of my career. For me, I always root for a guy like that, you know, because nobody's given him anything. He had to earn everything. And, and that play was really kind of epitomized who he was as a player. I was an underdog and I, I gave everything I had 
every play that I had just for an opportunity to be on the 53 my, my rookie year. And I knew I was gonna have to do it on special teams.